Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about React fragment. So, uh, React fragment is basically a simple topic. You don't need to apply any kind of logic on it. This is a simple feature. You can just import it from a React library and simply integrate with your application, right? Uh, but this is still an advanced topic. You can just see inside a React JS official website, and this is the advanced guide, and here it is, right? So that's why this is a advanced topic. One more thing, uh, React fragment is not useful for every time, but sometimes this is really useful, right? So now these are the points of this video. First of all, we will learn what is React fragment, how we can use it, how we can use it with a child component. Interview question, I will ask you a interview question. You can attempt this in a comment box and I will answer you the question which I asked in the previous video also and this is my instagram account if you just want to join me there so first question is what is react fragment so react fragment is basically a pattern right which is uh, used for wrap multiple elements or multiple components right and why we need to wrap i will show you so here you can see that uh, we have a h1 tag and now this is a root element right but uh, here you can see that uh, we one uh, we have one more h uh, div tag so can we remove it yes we can remove it for a moment let's say i can just remove it and now for first time this will work fine there is a no issue right uh, now you can see that we have a uh, one root element and then we have id that's great but let's say uh, we have some multiple elements like this then what we can do in that case because now we go, we got the error we must have to apply at least a div outside it right so like this in that case we can use a react fragment to just remove this extra div how so for that we have a three ways to use it first is that I just directly put here react dot fragment and uh, just simply close it and now you can see that we don't have any extra div here and this is working perfectly fine another way is you can just uh, simply import react fragment and just uh, remove react dot from here now it will just work fine now the both ways are same there is a one more way for use that uh, which is just you can just simply put here uh, empty elements and uh, this is the best way to save the time we don't need to import anything at all and this is working great right so now just got that why we use it to remove the extra elements that we just don't want to show in a dome because now we have only one element so when we have the lots of element even hundreds of element that time this is a really helpful second thing it can validate it can properly validate your components also how i will show you i'm just going to make your uh, one more component let's say calls dot js right and uh, now before that i'm just going to put a div again so that i can just show you from the scratch right and we can just remove these two tags like table and uh, here we can use a t body right and now we can use a tr which is table row and td and here i have my name like anil and uh, Sidhu, right so what i just want to do i want to just put this tr inside the separate component right so just make a function here and uh, put the name of calls because this is a file name also right and just return this but this is not actually valid so what we need to do here we must have to use here a div like this and uh, now just format it and export default calls right we can import it just write an import calls from calls and uh, now 
we can just simply use this calls here right and uh, everything is working fine right but there is an issue you can just see that inside a console and whenever you will refresh it or even you can see that these two things we cannot use div inside the uh, just uh, top to the td and uh, we cannot use div inside the tr right so these are the two uh, errors due to the dom validation right so how we can remove it so as you know we have a extra div here i can just show you uh, here like we have a table t body and tr and now we have a div which is not actually valid we we should use directly td inside tr for that what we can do here we can just simply use uh, react fragment so there are the three ways we can use any one we can i just prefer that that one right and now you can see that we don't we don't have any error just after refreshing right and uh, everything is working fine there is no extra div and all right so that's all for that video so now it's time to my question which i asked in the previous video so basically in that video i asked that so let's say i have a child component a parent component and uh, i am using this uh, child component in a in a list right and i just want to make some button on in that button i just want to perform some action so where should i make this function inside the app.js or call.js the answer is we must have to make that function inside the app.js why because if we will just make this function here let's say i just make here a test right function test and uh, it have lots of logic sometime um, maybe we are just using the set timeout and calling api that time whenever our component will be just getting listed here every time this function will uh, created again and again right so this is not a good practice this function should be created only once so that what we can do we can just put it inside the app.js and we can pass it through the props and then we can use here with that way uh this code if this have a really large function we can save that code and uh, if we are calling the api and all it will really uh, save the browser memories also right so that's why we must have to use this function inside the app.js so in that video i have a question that can i just simply put here key like this like id and can i just simply put here class name uh just uh, use me here like this class name for style i right? two things you can comment me that uh, uh, these are feasible with the fragment or not and uh, one more question if i am using the fragment with the child function can i also use it with the parent function also right there is a three question you can attempt this question if you want in a comment section but if you don't want that that's okay but at least read about these questions so bye bye for now and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video